Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. We got a World Baseball Classic update from pool play. Some big contracts going out in mm. spring training. Some injuries happening. Let's talk all about it. Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball, presented to you by Seat Geek. My name's Jimmy. Sitting next to me is Trevor Plouffe, and next to him, wow. Jake Storkielli and producer BBD on the other side of the camera. We're at the owner suite studio in the warehouse. Mm. Jake's got his jersey on. Trev fully zipped up. Yeah, quarter zip. It's a quarter zip. It's like a half with zip. a turtleneck. That's kind of like a half zip. Yeah, it goes down pretty. Yeah, good. it's like a '90s jacket. Well, you know, I did grow up in the 90s. Ooh. Jake, how are you? Booze in the warehouse. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you know, listeners probably can't tell, but I've lost my voice a little bit uh, from yelling these past couple days in the in the warehouse. Uh, Blitzball Battle 3. Wow. Been a doozy. Oh, my Been goodness. an absolute doozy. So check that out when it comes out. Uh, I'm good. I think, uh, you know, we're talking a little WBC, which... I think for a couple of weeks we all alluded to that we were like, hey, like, what are we going to be about with this? I know, Jim, you were coming in kind of blind because WBC was kind of like, uh, guys didn't really do it. it but was I got excited. If they did, and you anticipated you would get excited. Seeing it, um, I was spoiled. I got to watch a little Australia with Peter, yeah. which was a real treat because mm, literally half the guys he coached this winter. So not even like last year, like weeks ago. Uh, mm. So he had some real insight. <laughs> At one point, he in, with his shit eating big smile, he turned to me. He's like, should probably be broadcasting this. <laughs> I was like, yeah, kind of, man. Uh, so that was awesome. The end of Colombia, Mexico, I want to talk about. So it's it's been cool to see games that matter. Spring training, you know, it's more about the berm and the beer. We've talked about the blue moon stuff before. These You see games matter again, and you're like, that's awesome. I like that. And then I saw USA in Great Britain. I was like, this stinks. I don't, you thought it stunk? I thought I it was awesome. It didn't invoke the emotions well, in me that were being invoked by every other country's fans. No, it's not, I'm we're like, not there uh, yet. We're not yeah, there and yet. it was also Great Britain. Like, if it's... Exactly. They ruined the entire services. vibe with their uniform. I put that all on Great That's Britain. That's the worst uniform I've ever seen. Ever seen in I know life. that and our social media account made fun of it. And I was like, oh, should we be like going hard? Yes. And then I was like, I saw it and I was like, oh my God, what is this? I felt the need to post on it because we've, especially the way like Vance Worley was wearing it, <laughs> kind of like it, it almost looked like he buttoned it, mismatching yeah. button numbers. And it was just like <laughs> awful. Yeah, it didn't line up. It didn't, it line, didn't up. line up. It looked yeah. gross. I was. We have a lot of merch at our store. I guess we don't plug that enough. We have a ton of merch. Our Shop. graphics guys do a great job. Dotjohnboymedia.com. Uh, for years, it's been a laugh because our graphics guys will send me and Jimmy a picture and a lot of logos and fonts just look the same to me, okay. like picking between what's best, better and worst. That's tough for me. I'm not great at that. The Great Britain uniforms. How can that happen? Because they don't care, man. They're get the ashes coming out. <laughs> I, like, no one gives a shit. About I this. thought, like, aren't they like Someone's fashion people care there? More than that. Like Britain, oh I think, God. is like fashion. Like London. Burberry. Is that? They don't care. There's two people in Great Britain watching no, these games. No, no, that's not true. Because if you watch the game, they were talking about the guy that's over, the manager there. He said there's a small but passionate fan mm, base there. Through that. Through that one living room. I, I mean, are we just like jumping right into this? Because I like want to talk small about Vance Worley. I small mean, but passionate is kind of all I got. Yeah, that's you, huh? <laughs> I'm trying to find the picture of their uniform. It's, it's oh. tough. It's really tough. That, I think that, I mean... Of all the stuff that happened, and we're talking, we can talk about the show. Hey, strikeout. We can talk about the end of that Colombia Mexico game. We can talk about the DR Venezuela. The uniform, I think, stole the show on the first night. We got Mike Trout playing in the same lineup as Mookie Betts, mm. Goldschmidt, Arenado, Trey Turner, and all anyone could talk about was how shitty yeah. the English uniforms were. Are they? Do they have, each team have two uniforms? I mean, you got to, right? Yeah, I would hope so, but so yeah. what does their home look like? No, oh, no, I don't. I, I'm I assuming it's the same. it's just the same font. Some guy came on to my Twitter and said, you know what? Nice. It's about uh, class, and um, like mm. you don't see the Yankees putting Digicam on the pinstripes. Yeah. And I was like, you don't Yeah, well, they have nice uniforms. I was like, you don't really think those are nice uniforms. He goes, I don't, but I'm just trying to argue. So that's what people, anyone that argues for those uniforms is like lying. Do you want to open up with an announcement? 
or more so an apology for not playing. Because I, <laughs> no. it's awful. I did. I could. That's play. not even font. That's like generic. This looks like teach they, the alphabet. If font. I was to show you this picture of this uniform, and I was to say, "Hey, Dad, did you hear what happened? Their uniforms got lost, so they had to yeah. just get grays, yes. and they put iron on letters." You would say, "Oh, okay, not that bad for last second uniform." Like, do you think? Uh, Nike, do you think Nike's how did pissed? Nike? Nike had to be pissed. <laughs> Nike's pissed. We got to put our logo on that. <laughs> That's unreal. That's bad. All right. Oh my God! Their other color is. Oh, you have it up, huh? It's blue. So the gray and blue, and it's... Is it bigger, though? Just bigger. Better. Be- I'm in. He's better. I'm in. So how better. did they not go big font on both? I don't know. There must be something, like, in the bylaws, like the king and queen or said some mm. shit. Anyway, let's know. all talk about our favorite highlight moment that we've seen so far. Trev. Trev. Well, you got your check when I did. You yeah. got it. We called for one. The boys yeah. showed up. Check in. A bunch yeah. of that's their hashtag. Yeah. Oh yeah. A bunch of Jake Story alleys on that team. <laughs> and we had one dude. And by the way, they yeah. were beating Japan when this happened. One nothing. He strikes out Shohei Otani. Andridge Satoria almost mm. sounds like your freaking name. Strikes him out on a seventy-two mile an hour what fork ball. I don't know what it was. Gets Otani's helmet to fly off. Like, all-time highlight for this guy. He's cheesing everywhere. Classic Otani. I'm down 0-2. I'll just put whatever he throws in play. I can hit anything. And then he throws a spike ball. 72 Makes miles an hour. Like a, like a palm I've ball. That. that was yeah. just incredible to me. That's kind of what I like about the WBC. You know, later on, we're going to get incredible baseball games where it is legit top players in the world playing. Early rounds, mm. we're going to get some of the Andridge types out there. Yeah. Electrician by uh, well, trade. We do 72, need. And I love those moments. We do need. Everyone's seen the movie Mystery Alaska here? No? No? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I like Mystery Alaska. Okay. So the Rangers go to Alaska to play this tiny town for I Mystery. I didn't watch it until no, you made no, me watch no. it. Though. It's a really good sports movie. And Is that the hockey team? Hockey team. Okay. The New York Rangers Russell go. Russell Crowe? Russell Crowe's in Russell. it. Yeah. So yeah. they. Uh, anyway, two of the. Kids from the local town okay. hop on the helicopter or the plane with the Rangers because they got double A contracts basically to go be, you know, try to become professionals because they were so good. That's what I need next in my check. Okay. I need like two of these guys. One's not that good, but you need a friend for the star, like, you know, like a soccer fish. So the best is check it, player. You think he's going to come off the check? I was going to say, no, but if you're the Pirates, the like the Pirates went to um, Africa. Mm. Or India and yes, got players that yes, one time yes. from uh, cricket players. Like, just grab two and get the headlines for a little bit. Bring them to camp and have some fun. And then we write a movie about it. John Hamm's in it. It's all, it's all good time. So that's the next part of the Czech story. Peter Moreland will be the manager. Well, let's stay on Otani yeah. if we're done with Czech because there's two other I'm updates on him. Czech. My favorite moment, and, and we just watched the highlight of and talked about it, is Otani hits the home run. Oh, And my did gosh. you know this, Jake? The fan that caught it. This is incredible. They passed the ball around the stadium. And everybody got to take a picture of the ball or a selfie with the ball Honestly. and they pass it to the next person and the next person. And, I mean, I always talk about shared experiences are, like, some of the most touching or, like, wholesome moments. I can't believe their culture at sporting events. It's, it's, it's always put on display in the world on the World Cup. But that's that's because they clean and they're respectful. Yeah. They this is stadium fucking can we, can, we, can we get some we snaps have, for Japan? Like, like they could have sold that. In in the U.S., that's people are getting clawed and, and stink, hurt, dude. No, they don't. Well, we just have a very competitive culture. That's different. We don't stink. Kind of stink. No, that wouldn't have happened. That wouldn't have happened. If someone gave it the ball, they would run. <laughs> dude, and, in the U.S., yeah. if someone asked to see the ball you just caught, you're hesitant to hand it to him because you think he might yes. snatch it. And then some kid would TikTok you, you know, it and give make it fun of them. me. Yeah. When I was eight, you I remember in your hand and let them like. I got a no, I got just, a batting practice ball when I was eight, and the guy next to me was like, "Can I touch it?" And I, at eight, I was like, "No, yeah, yeah. you're smart. gonna you're gonna you're steal. You're an adult that's gonna steal from me." <laughs> nah, he didn't. Touch it me. was an incredible moment. Like yeah. that, we we didn't know that happened. We were just looking up, and all of a sudden, I was like, "What? Did, yeah. What?" And we but, watched the highlight. It was it was awesome. The other the other Otani update is that. Japan has moved on. They won their pool. They'll be in the semifinal. I'm not sure who they play it, but Otani will start that game, and it will be his last game with the team because he is not Mm -hmm. going to pitch in the semifinals or finals if Japan advances because that puts him a week out from opening day, and the Angels want him to pitch in camp. So he's making a start Mm -hmm. on, like, the 24th in camp. 
which is five days before opening day. Nevin said he's going to start the semi, uh, the quarterfinal. He won't be part of the team in semi and uh, championship game. So that's a little bit of a bummer. That's where this whole thing yeah. and the culture and all that is like, and Otani's in through and home runs. And then you're like, oh, okay. There is just like a fucking, like, um, what's that? Like, a, like it gets pulled, the, the carpet gets pulled out from under you. What's that saying? That's it. You that's got it. it. And yeah. I, I think, pulled, I don't yeah. think we talked about it on here. I think we were talking about it when we were doing TPPs, but isn't Vladdy Jr.? He's saying he's going to come back. Yeah, he wants to come back the, from the semis. He's doing the opposite. Because he's a hitter, so it's a little different. Right. And um, but also, they come to Florida. Right. I don't think you could pull a jersey off like the Dominican or the Venezuelan team. If you watch those guys play, like the passion, right? like they, they, they're, kick like, someone they're like, I'd rather play in this but than a regular season game. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> What's the conversation yeah. there? My favorite moments, Merton, brought to you by Fubo. Fubo, new partner. Oh, guys. Both. Backwards. Oh, buff backwards. They're still going with Fubo. Mm-hmm. Um, Fubo. One guy at the meeting. What if we go backwards? Oh, buff. You're out. You're out. You're out, Pop. <laughs> yeah, Fubo. Like that one. Maintenance, man. 200 live channels. Just as mom had Fubo. This is a true story. And I came in and I was a little nervous. She's like, I got this for you because you like sports. And I was like, okay, like, uh, let's see it. They do. They got the real sports, including well, World Baseball Classic, FS1, FS2, Fox, ESPN. So, yeah. They've got pretty much anything a sports fan is looking for. Yeah. And to Krav Maga. Krav Maga? Uh, like the Israeli fighting? No, Are we vo- going to talk about nice Lomo Schlippitz feet, after feet, this? Nice feet feet, feet only volleyball is what I was talking about. You can stream all the action from game days anywhere on any device. Visit FuboTV.com slash baseball today. That's an interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. I that's forgot an about interesting. That. Fubo, do you want to, like, uh, we have some live sports that are. FuboTV.com slash baseball today to see which channels are in your lineup and score 15% off your first month. Well, hey. One day, Fubo's going to carry. Let's ball battles. Shlomo Lippitz for Israel. Yep. Go read about that guy. Um, Say his name again. Shlomo Lippitz. I love that fucking name. We're our guys, uh, Backyard Barbecue, Cespedes Family Barbecue. They wrote an awesome article on that. Um, I like transitioning out of, you know, from like the Czech team and striking out Otani, and that's forever, and you get some moments. I like the next level where we saw our guy, Zumi Zuni. Oh, yeah. Zuniga, who we find out. You yeah. tune in, and I'll give my real Zuniga. tale of it. Zuniga. Tune into the, the final innings. Uh, Mexico, Colombia. We're playing at uh, Chase Field. Go Snakes. We'll get to Corbin Carroll. And uh, I think what's interesting is you turn on some of these games, and, you know, it's the late innings, and it's, you know, here comes the closer from one of these countries, and you look at their fastball, and it's like 89, and you're like, ooh, okay. That's, that doesn't play in the show. Then, so this guy comes out. He hits 102 on the gun. He's a big boy. He's snapping sliders. Everyone, if you're a baseball nerd, you go to his baseball reference, and you're like, oh, Cardinals, devil magic. They got another guy in the wings. You look at the minor league stats. The dude's been kind of rocked. And now, I don't know. Like, is this his kind of moment? If they start making a run and he's kind of their closeout guy, does that up his stock and the Cardinals give him some looks? Kind of. That's kind of how it works, right? I, I, think he's I like that. too hard. Yeah, it's too hard for them. Yeah, I think World Baseball Classic is about under ninety impressiveness. Uh, Wayno out there. Oh my gosh! Didn't top like eighty eight for a while. <laughs> Matt Harvey, stud. Yeah. He is not topping ninety, but he has seven innings pitched, one earned run. He's gonna get a look. Also bought the whole team Italy the spread. Trev. That's nice. They had a family that. dinner, and Harvey treated, and then they went out and they. Oh, went, they, he did. Not, I thought you did. I didn't I'll buy say, team wow. Italy the spread. I did not. No, I wasn't. It was Matt Harvey. Don't be a traitor to our country, James. Well, that whole fucking roster's traders. Yeah, country. that's what are you true. Talking about? Yeah. I got two, I got two Italians. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, but yeah, Matt Harvey's going to get a look. I mean, the Yankees need some pitching help. So it, I don't know if they're going to grab oh, him, but someone. It's oh my, that'd be interesting. It's funny because you know when you are around you know ball players who go do the winter leagues, they go play in Venezuela or Dominican and places like that. One thing they'll always tell you is there are guys that just do that and they thrive in those environments. Right. There's a guy that I used to play with named Josh Kroger. I played on the oh, U.S. team with Krogs. him. Do you remember Kroger, Josh Kroger a little Krogs. bit? He, he would go down there and they and he would just crush it. 
He's like, there's no reason for me to come play right. AAA ball. I can just come have my summers off in the States, work out, go back down there. And they earn like good money. A lot of it's cash. Mm. And he was a monster down there. Like, so maybe with Zuniga, Zuniga could be the atmosphere that he needs. You come over and play minor league ball. It's, there is no atmosphere. Hey man, we talk, we talk about yeah. it a little bit. I You're, mean, for all the 30 year olds in AAA, give up the dream. Just go travel abroad. Get out of the minor leagues. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is that what you're that. saying? No. I'm just trying to echo exactly. I'm saying what you there said. are some we just guys. Want to get your words no, right. No, there are some guys <laughs> who thrive in those environments, and this guy might be that. Well, I, th- I think the other thing we it gets danced around a lot, or we bring it up here and there. But like, I don't know what minor league towns that guy's been in. You're from Columbia. What minor league towns are the are the St. Louis Cardinals minor league teams? Springfield, there's <laughs> Peoria. Peoria, there's Johnson City. Yeah, I made up like, is there? Oh, that's the Cubs. We, yeah, we might Memphis, be slaughtering Memphis, Springfield, Peoria, Palm Beach. Oh. Huh. I didn't make Johnson it up. Memphis City? is a good one. I didn't make it up. I'm oh, you know what? I think the they current cut, four. They cut all those down. I forgot about the whole thing. You know, maybe he wasn't in love with those towns. Maybe he wasn't getting good Colombian food. Maybe he's with the boys, and that's part of it. I don't know. But you that was know. electric. Electric final two innings of baseball there. Let's go over the pools before we move on. Uh, yeah. We haven't really covered it yet. So uh, in Pool A, uh, Cuba and Italy advance. In uh, the k- Pool of Chaos, every si- they all were 2-2. Two and 2-2. Two. Two and, two. and Matt Harvey is the reason Italy advances because the tiebreaker it went to was runs allowed per outs recorded, which is something I thought that we came up with in the warehouse mm-hmm. and was like something dumb we did, and then they did, and I was like, oh, shit. Similar brain. So, Taiwan gets a little Taiwan's out. screwed because uh, Yu Chang's Grand Slam, like, it's runs allowed per out, not runs scored per out. So, it really was pitching. So, Italy won their second game 7-1, to one, and it was pretty imperative that they didn't allow yeah. um, more. That means the runs. Netherlands are out. Which they've done really well in this tournament. Mm-hmm. They were two out. and zero, oh, or was Cur- the Netherlands were two and zero, oh, lost their next two games, oh. and are out now. And then Taiwan uh, is also out. So Netherlands, Panama, and Taiwan out. Cuba and Italy are moving on from. Pool and on a. Taiwan, Yu Chang and um, yeah. the other uh, guy Park. for the Red Sox That's have Korea. both been putting up, put up some good impressive numbers. Pool B, that's in Tokyo. Japan has moved on. Austra- we're, we're recording this on Sunday. <coughs> yes. Um, Australia plays Czech tonight. If Australia wins, they move on. If they lose and Korea beats China, then there's a bunch of tiebreakers going on there. If you're a movie executive, why okay. aren't you at the Czech game sitting next to a scout and saying, like, hey, we're Warner Brothers. We'll front you to pick up this guy, like work with a team and make a movie and split the ends on the movie. I don't understand. They can, they, they, it's all entertainment. Split they are. the ends on the movie. I, yes. I don't know. I don't know if I'm buying into that movie just yet. Uh, pool did, you, C, did you watch the John Hamm one? You're a narc. Pool C and Pool I D didn't. are very early <laughs> on. They have only had one game played. There's a bunch of more games played today, so we really can't go over that. U.S. beats Great Britain. Colombia beats Mexico. Venezuela in the big game beats Dominican. Yeah, a little party and in the locker Puerto room Puerto Rico beat Nicaragua. So those two pools are still going. Dominican thought they were going to be – it was going to be easy for them. They saw what Japan did, and um, that was, uh, you know, from our Dominican Republic reporter, B, B reporter. for B Reporter, he said that they were all trying to hit homers. Joe's and, McFly is our Dominican Oh, yeah, it was Joe's reporter, McFly. Yeah. Oh, my God, there's a cat in the studio. Oh, okay. oh Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, my um, God. Uh, and <laughs> and uh, he says that Dominican's going to crush Nicaragua. Because they are so upset now. Yeah. It's the reverse look ahead game. They've already looked ahead and now they're gonna beat this team. It kinda is messed up. If you're Nicaragua, you would have really loved the Dominican to roll in their first game. Yeah. So they come in kind of sleepy mode. They're gonna be pissy. And yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. That's a mercy game. And you bet the mercy. I don't know. We've been wrong about everything about the WBC so far. So I don't Yeah. Know. Japan's gonna win it. Ah, oh, without Otani. He just played. Who'd you pick? Do you, do you remember? I think you picked Japan. I think I picked the USA because I'm not a commie scab. Oh, uh, I picked <laughs> Japan because I am. <laughs> Neutral. I don't remember. I'm just I think, for Did the I ball. pick the US? I believe you did, but there's a graphic somewhere. Yeah, maybe I picked the DR. Uh, we had a... Uh, we rocked chalk. We rocked MLB rosters. and We did, yeah. We have some stats from the shortstops. We talked about that before. Like, mm. let's keep track of these guys. The Dodgers might be looking to sign one. Other teams yeah. might be looking to sign one. So, Jerks and Profar, 
four games. Uh, he hit 231. Had a nice uh, good uh, OBP though, yeah. and also he played. He had some uh, one or two highlights in left field, and also one or two blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. The other guys didn't Ripped do much. Black deuce and then rolling. Didi and around. Simmons didn't do much. Didi's playing first, and he's kind of just getting. Um, I saw Didi at third, and they're out, right? Yeah, they're out. But Didi had a, a good OBP as well. It's tough. No None extra of this means anything. No, no extra base hits. Well, he has his four games. Four games because they're all out. Yeah, it stinks. What about um, Profar had the nice relay? Yeah, he had a good relay and he had two diving. He had one play where he had to keep the ball in front of him. Like didn't need, it was already on the ground and he and he did that. That was nice. That was the relay game as well, I believe. Uh, how's Mexico doing? They lost so last night. they lost that extra innings game where the, the Urias pops over to shortstop, so squibber off the, the end of the bop, second. off the end of the bop, off the end of the bop. And that's off the end of the bop. That's a squibber off the end of the bop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is baseball talk. I, don't, I mostly do baseball in Great Britain. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like the Great Britain broadcaster. <laughs> Looks like a squibber off the end of the bop there. So that was, that was brutal. That was tough loss. Ghost runner scores on that play. I like Mexico's team. I like their pitching. Yes. Well, and that's the, the final innings. I mean, we saw Rowdy Rowdy Tellez. Yeah. Came up. Uh, double he, he double up, up his name these days. Yeah. Rowdy Rowdy. Rowdy Rowdy Telez. Yeah. I mean, that's a yeah. no-brainer. Yeah. yeah. Ronda uh, Rowdy Telez. Is uh, there to get married? Uh-huh. Uh, Profar sign on a team? Uh, we can pivot right into the Corbin Carroll deal with the Profar thing. Because I think baseball's in a sick spot. The fact that no team will pay Profar eight mil a year on a one-year deal... A guy can provide value to you, but then we got kids that play for two weeks getting 11-year deals at, like, 15 mil a year. It's just such a weird spot that those some— Those are way different players. But it's—, it's but it, this happens all over. It's not just those two examples. Like, no. these guys who— <laughs> These deals weird me out. I'm happy for them. But, like, what did uh, Dobnak get? Randy Dobnak? They committed how much million to him? Not that much. I think it was, like, 12 or 15. Total? Yeah. I don't think it was that but, even that much total. Well, but it's just weird that you've got guys that have proved they can play at this level. Yeah. And they can't get one year deals. And then these kids who haven't proved it fully yet are getting eleven year deals. I know he's a big prospect. I'm not trying to hate on Corbin Carroll at all. Well, and I don't so even know if I'm I don't even too. know if I'm complaining. I'm just trying to understand the state <laughs> and economics of base right now because I guess teams have different philosophies. But I don't well, understand this contract. Profar also costs a roster spot. That's, like, so big for teams. Like, if you have to remove someone from your roster and you have a full roster, like, they don't, they just don't want to do that. I, yeah, he's so one for, example. There's a lot of guys go. out there right now that, let's, like... Let's I, talk about the deal. Eight years, $111 million. Uh, It could go to 134 This is what we talked about before, though. The salary breakdown is pretty crazy. Uh, he gets a 5 mil bonus, and then it goes 1, 3, 5, 10, 12, 14, and then the last two years are 28, 28. Now, this is a question for everyone because I called my agent, buddy, Ollie. Shout out, Ollie. And he picked up, right? Did not pick up because oh. I forgot it's like 8 in the morning over there yeah, that's on, a, on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry. We're wondering, if you're the Diamondbacks and you're not committing a lot of payroll this year, like why not front load this bad yeah. boy? And so when gonna... you are going to have payroll, you're not, not paying this guy a lot. I don't know if that's like they... possible, but mm. like that seems to me like what you would do. Well, maybe under they're the... banking on him being a stud, and then that's a good value of trade dr- uh, when you get to inflation and what but he's then it would providing. Be incredible It'd be an incredible value. value at the end of his career. He's only making they five just did mil. It 10 mil a year the whole way. And guess yeah. what? I think if you're Corbin Carroll, you probably – you prefer this. You get your money up front right, you first, and then you start to bit. yeah. Then you start to invest, and that and under under the old CBA it would have made more sense because it's just like what you're trading to another team for yeah. set for luxury tax purposes is just average over the whole thing. But I believe now it's like average of what's left. So that interesting. They I don't, don't know if you they can don't get to do sell it, it for less than yeah. that because that would make a yeah. lot of sense for the Diamondbacks to. Front you think at least a team wouldn't mess around with that a little more? Yeah. Um, at least make it fairly uh, even. Distributed. Pretty cool. It's just you just got to think some of these like 31, 32 year old free agents just see this and they're like, "What? This kid was in high school four years ago." Yeah. No, in high I mean, school. There's there's two different things going on here. One for Corbin Carroll, he is a legit. Like super prospect was number two yeah, in the game. Five tool player. Pro, minor, Pro far was number one prospect in the game too. He was, crazy. but he's he also had three three to. Four I don't want to harp on yeah. just no, that no, example. They're, they're, they're <laughs> different things. They're different things, and I I think we can end up looping them together. Let's do the kid for now. Yes, Gorman Carroll 
is the fastest player in baseball. He's one dotted in his minor league career. Love that. And for 100 at-bats at the major league level, he did have an 830 OPS. I know you can't. 100 at-bats. A lot of guys have had hot 100 at-bat streaks in the, in the major league level. That being said, look how the Braves are built. And locking up Acuna and Albies, when you do this right, it's a huge advantage. And you're getting Corbin Carroll, a guy who is going to, part of, part of his skill set is going to be speed for a little bit. Speed goes away for every player eventually, Trev. That they've got him locked up through his prime, prime years. Yep. You know, so if you're a Diamondbacks fan, you got to be happy. Like, this guy's supposed to be your future. You can start putting a plan around it like we're doing with the money. Maybe, like, a front office needs to bring us in so we can I advise them on that. Um, so, yeah, happy for Corbin Carroll. And, hey, I, looking at some of the contracts that have come out now, if Corbin Carroll is 80% of the guy that it, people think he can be, the contract's still a bargain. So, and if you do that right, then you can build a team around it. He's 21, I believe. 21. Eight years. 22. I mean, this guy, 22. He's going to get to uh, free agency again at 30 years old. I mean, by that time, we might be paying guys until they're 45. Like, this is the beginning for Corbin. It's awesome. I mentioned four years removed from high school. And you'll love this. He's 5'10". Yeah, yeah. 160. So 5'10 means he's 5'8 and a half. Can and I like, tell you one thing, though? I think he's an honest 5'10". Have you stood next to him? I think that's why he's so fast. 5'10 is peak speed. Interesting. Do you have a... I don't think... 5'9, right. you what are, get what quick. What are those sprinters? 5'9, you get quick instead of fast. Well, five, sprinters ten, don't have to turn. Fast. I think they you do have to that, turn. You got to dip that shoulder. You know? Turn? Isn't it curved? It depends which well, event you're like running. Bolt when you 200 meters. 200 meters, you do the turn. 100's yeah. yeah. just... Shout out Tyreek Hill. 1,500, I think. Yeah, I'm seven. Real fast. Um, good for Corbin Carroll. Ruiz. Kyber. For your Nationals. He gets extended Keep as bear. well. Um, and, I mean, you know, that probably comes. I think he was on Foolish Baseball's top five breakout players this year, so that's huge for him. Um, he 112 games last year, and, I mean, to Jimmy's point, it's, you know, it's not a flashy stat line. For a young catcher, it's fine, but... Um, and it was what eight for thirty-five, so it's not as much of a, not eight, as much eight, eight of a, for fifty, eight for fifty. But still, put that next to Corbin Carroll. You got two young ball players. I don't know. I don't know if that <laughs> changes expectations or value or what, but it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, these yeah. teams are trying to... like a little over a year of service. So yeah. this is a little more closer to like the traditional extension we see at this point. Yeah, I think t- I think teams need to have guys that are going to be around. You talk to any fan base, like they're just like, can I have a guy that's going to be around right. so I can root for you? I can buy a jersey. Uh, I don't want to have to jersey swap through Fnatic. Like I don't want to have to do that. So, <laughs> like Kyber Uri is gonna be there, okay? Like you build around him. Maybe you don't. Eight years, fifty over the long, you know, portion of the contract. That's not a ton of money for the Nationals. But I like that they're gonna do this because you're right, Jake. Like the Braves have done this with a bunch of guys, and it's put them in a position to continually do it, and then also go and make the big splash with like a Matt Olson or whoever. So this is. Every team is kind of trying to do that. It was going that way for a long time. They were offering these deals, and it kind of went away from that. Um, and I don't know if that's just the financials of the game are, are back to where they were, CBA, whatever it is. But I like this for Ruiz and, and the Nationals. I think last catcher that signed an extension at Ruiz's service time level was Salvi, and his was only six years. So okay. sets a new bar for catchers with one year of service time signing extensions. Mike Rizzo said, with a deal of this length, this type of money, it's more about the person than the player, and uh, we feel very confident we've got ourselves a great person and a great player. So that's cool. Sounds like a lie. I like that. You want to give it to bad people. Sure. Right? I mean. Maybe some people do. Maybe some, some people do. Maybe some teams Kratz don't. was a great guy. Why didn't he get this deal as a catcher? Who's Kratz? Eric Kratz. Oh. One of the best guys ever. He's all right. The Mennonite Masher, he's awesome. First pitch swinging. Yeah. I know that. Give me that, give me that heater. Yeah. I mean, his home run lock is impressive. Swinging. It yeah. sure was. Yeah. He talked shit on me one time on this show, or you're or yeah, talking yank, so I'm like, I'm out. Oh. Oh, yeah, he did do that on purpose on talking yeah, yanks. Yeah, came at you. Now he's got a, a podcast with the Todd father. Yeah. Do you want better sex life? Nah. <sighs> I mean, you're tough. 
A lot of guys want a better sex life. Okay. Up to 50% of men that have symptoms that get in the way of them wanting or enjoying sex. Wow. Oh. But Roman is here to help. cold. Roman is the digital health clinic for men, offering genuine medication that helps achieve and maintain a strong... Boner. <laughs> erection. <laughs> a strong erection. Uh, men with low T, we gotcha. At Roman, there's no waiting rooms, no hassle. It's just straightforward digital experience from the comfort of your own home. Yes. And they've got discreet packaging. Free two-day shipping. So why don't you? Why don't you? Learn more about how you can achieve your personal sexual health goals. Mm. Go to row.co slash John Boy. That's the next part of the show. <laughs> Today to get 20% <laughs> off your entire first order. That's ro.co slash John Boy. 20% off your first order. Click the link. Uh, my personal sex goals. Yeah. Um, now that you're married, things change. Double climax. In one's... In or no, no for, not a double. You, or Actually, like, just quantity two. Actually, you know what? Two, however they come. How about that? What about a kid? Uh, one day. Okay. Not there yet. Yeah. Get through baseball yeah. season. You know the you rigors went, of this. I was going here, then you went over there. Like, I'm yeah. Talking. Provar, and half looping it together, I hate that he's still a free agent because he's the only outlier. Um, and I don't know if he misplayed his hand, and we don't... There were some rumors that he's... "Quote unquote," asking for too much. I don't know if that's years. Ten money. million a year is what they said he was asking. But for, for how many years is yeah, the question? Seem like the, I thought one out of the question. No, oh. I think he wants a multi-year. I think he opted out of. I think he opted out of one more for seven, eight, seven or eight. Yeah. So he, he had a. It was like a three for twenty-one. For me years ago, and I, so. you know, our our guy Jolly Olive uh, tweeted it out, and I responded to him. Cool. Um, Profar is in a weird spot, man, because I like him as a ball player. I think he plays a fun, he can play fun defense in left field. He can give you a good at bat. The question is for me, and I guess this is where I form this perspective, so feel free to edit it. Okay. Can't the wait. Yankees, who have needed a left fielder, we've talked about it all offseason on Talking Yanks. Jerks and Profar, if the Yankees sign him tomorrow, we'd hop on the mics, we'd be a little excited, like, all right, we got an MLB body to do him. Does that change their season outlook at all? And I don't know if that shot's fired at Profar. Like, maybe it is. Maybe if I watched him for 150 and he was the Yankees left fielder, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that guy batting seventh is a difference maker. But I think teams are so comfortable with what they have at camp between their kids and the rest of their team that I think front offices are saying, I don't know if we're going to give Jerks and Profar two for 20 because what does that change for us over the next two years? So I don't know if that's, that's real or mean or I don't know. No, that's, like, that's what I'm telling you. What I was trying to say before is – Roster spots mean a lot to yeah. these these teams. So if you're if he's not moving the needle for you, you're not yeah. gonna do it. Like you're, Rocky's apparently showing interest with Gritchick. And that's and obvious. Gritchick is and out and someone else went out. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's kind of my take of a, a team that has their forty man roster set, they love the guys, they're just not gonna take somebody off unless they can do like the sixty man, like it just stink, man a mile it just somebody. stink from the from okay. The GM mindset, sure, makes sense. There's logic there. But just from the player's mindset right. of I'm good enough to play in this league, but the fucking outliers and grooves and the, the fit of, like, the notches are keeping me from sucks as a, as a player. Yeah. And I don't know if there's a way no, if we to just... navigate that or not navigate it, but it just sucks that we have people good enough to be MLB. Imagine that. If Good we enough had, to be an MLB player. If we had a fantasy draft of MLB players, Jerks and Profar would probably go in like the 15th round or something. I don't know what that just means. Just making that up. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know, know what you know. just said right Just there. made all that But, up. dude, I mean, yeah, I, we're talking about Profar, but that's, that's I mean, every offseason you're going to find somebody like that. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It is tough. And it, that, that kind of stinks. Yes. Um, There's but been I, a lot of injuries. Is that the last thing we're doing now? I think we go quick through this. I don't. I hate. Harper well, well, I know we're not talking Yanks, right. but the Yankees are decimated, and it's bad. Harrison Baders, oblique. oblique. It's going to be two, two months. Rodon, forearm, the, not The updates we've gotten John. since the first one have been very positive. But it's still, on the other he's side. Out. But. Canely's out. Lutrovino's out. Um, Rizzo, Rizzo just got, got scratched. Up. Been a lot of, there's been a lot of injuries. <laughs> a lot of fucking DJs guys. coming back from stuff. It's a lot Nothing of guys for yet. the Yanks, man. Yeah. And it all happened at one moment. I mean, it was your, 24 your hours. center fielder, yeah. your two starter, uh, yeah. two relievers. The, the only like pretty pretty notable addition to the team. I mean, Rodon is what makes the Yankees have one of the best pitching staffs yeah. in baseball. Like, he put them 
Yeah. I think the Padres and Stammen, um, Stammen's out for the year, I believe, for the Padres. Okay. And they got, they're dealing with some other things. Sorry, Glass now is still out for the Rays. Um, I don't know if there's any, been any other big ones. Yeah. Maybe we're missing them. But. We got a couple on the sheet here. And Jordan Walker's a guy that uh, prospect yeah. for the Cardinals who looked really, really good. Yeah, and Andrew spring. Painter. He, uh, Andrew yeah, Painter for the, Phillies. for the Phillies. He's out. He has a UCL issue. They, I don't think they put a time on, on him they're, yet. They're going to try to rehab it. and yeah. That's what they're saying right know, now. Man. The Jordan Walker one sucks because uh, like he was doing great. And he looks he looks the part. He looks like he's a real deal prospect. Big boy doing it. Um five multi hit games in his first eleven appearances. So he was like pushing to make the roster. He sprains his shoulder uh on a head first slide in the second base. Why are we sliding at first in the second base? Mm. Sanga got pulled, right? Yes, but Sanga scratched yeah. finger yeah. discomfort. Which for yeah. the pitch, he's right. A lot of people it. are dealing with it. Uh, Gonsolin's dealing with some stuff with the Dodgers as well. There, it's Brooks Rayleigh scratch you? from the WBC. Saturday didn't text me. No, I think he's over me. I don't like cats. <laughs> he was never under you. I, I do like cats, but I don't want to say that. Cats are self sufficient. Yeah, they're great. Uh, I think my only final note is uh, Yoshida. You know, right. I, I've just kind of had him in the back of my head as like the Red Sox. Like, you know, is he? Is he going to be good? Is he going to be bad? Where does he land? He seems pretty cool, and I got I had like a little bit of jealousy. Short guy. He seems like he's going to be fun. Bigger calves than you. He's raking in the it's WBC. Be fun. Yeah. Oh, I think we're caught up. Oh. Dude, like, the way my ankle sure. was underneath my chair, I didn't realize it was. But now it's asleep and stiff. Oh. I'm going to walk for a little bit. Thanks for listening. In there, Damn. James O'Brien also on the IL early, yeah. early IL for him this year. Ankle tough. Now, I got I got it today, guys. I just fucking want to look you right in the eye. Say it to my face. Jake sucks. Mm. That's so good. All right, if I land this on heads, good things are gonna happen for us. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would have rolled the dice there. You know? Now that's stakes. a coin flip. <laughs> Fuck that penny. Be huge uh, stakes. <laughs> Overcome the odds.